Good afternoon, church. It's too late for my Friday morning update, so here's a Friday afternoon update for you uh, to start your weekend off. Behind me, you see some tables and you see a uh, notepad and some things, and that's because our ministry leaders, our church leaders, our prayer leaders are going to be gathering tomorrow for a special day of praying and seeking God and saying, God, where do you have us moving? How do you want River Oaks to be moving? What are the things you want us to be pursuing? And part of that is that we would hear from God and, and get a sense of his call for us here in the city. What, what place does God have for our church specifically among all of the churches here in the city of Harrisonburg and the surrounding communities? And so I'm going to just ask you to pray. Pray for our meeting. Pray for our hearts. Pray that we would hear from God and be led by him to discover his path for the next several years as a church. I wanna also just encourage you as we were praying today, this morning, uh, the prayer team was praying and, and I continue to have a growing passion, a growing desire in my spirit and I see it among others for just the revival, the renewal of God. And so a, a second area of prayer today would be that you would agree in prayer that God would revive our hearts. God would call us to a new level of relationship with him, that God would deepen our relationship with him, that God would help us to set aside things that are keeping us from walking completely uh, un, unashamed with him and you know our 50 days of transformation in our groups some of you are setting goals and some of you are working at uh, physical goals spiritual goals so far and and I want to continue to encourage you to keep setting those goals and keep seeking God and keep praying for each other together we will experience the transformation of God the last thing I want to say today is one of the greatest privileges and joys that I have in pastoring a church that is intergenerational that has the generations worship together is on a Sunday like this past Sunday when following the church service I had two conversations one of them with a person who is over 70 years old and one of them with a person who's about seven years old and both of them were responding to what they had heard during the sermon both of them responding to what the spirit was saying to them the one that was over 70 was relating to me how God had shown him how to let go of stress in his life to remove migraines that he'd been experiencing and I love to hear testimonies of how how God confirms what he's saying and what God did in in your life and so that was that was an amazing and uh, it was a joyful experience for me to hear from hear from my friend and and then the other one was a seven-year-old who came to me and I had been talking about embracing beauty in our lives and he began to describe for me you know what I see as beauty and he was describing cornfields and he was describing sunsets and I thought how amazing that our seven-year-olds who are part of us during the worship service are being drawn to deeper things with God even though maybe we don't see it and it doesn't look the same way as the rest of us do so that's my final word for you today I'm excited to be a part of River Oaks Church I'm excited to be pastoring you I'm blessed to be able to be moving the church in the ways that God is calling us. And I want to invite you to keep praying that we will follow God's plan, God's plan, God's path for our church. This weekend, we're going to talk about uh, how we deal with another area of our life, our thinking, our, our, our mind, our thought life. And so I'm excited about uh, the places God wants to take us and giving us new victory in the area of our mind. So would you pray with me and agree that this is a weekend where we will continue to experience God, pray for revival, pray for the spirit of worship to be poured out and pray for our hearts to be drawn to deeper places with God. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday and uh, God bless you.